Hi everybody, I'm Mo and I welcome you all to my channel Momna's Life Handmade. Today I'm participating in a challenge being hosted by Joanne Brody from the Thrift Queen and the challenge is called April Thrift Flip with a Twist. So there is a twist that is you cannot go out thrifting, everybody is staying at home. So we have to thrift from our home something that we have and want to give it a new look and transform it, show how we give it a new look, how we do the thrift flip. So I have this piece which I liked but yet I did not like and I wanted to give it a good amount of TLC, make it look beautiful and glamorous and I love what I made out of it. I will put link to Thrift Queen Joanne Brody's channel in the uh, description box of my video along with the playlist that she has created to check it out and if you love to do DIY if you love to see how I pick up very ordinary things around the home and turn them into beautiful and useful decor as well as useful items for the home do everything related to home within budget and if you are new to my channel I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button given below the video and do hit the notification bell so that you are notified each time I post my video. Today I want to share with you this beautiful painting that my husband got before we started the stay home thing, social distancing. He had been somewhere and got this beautiful painting home. He knows I love folk art, hand painted, original paintings. And this painting is called Madhubani Art. This is a specialty of a state called Bihar in India. And the folk artisans, the common villagers, most of them women, they do these kind of paintings on walls, fabric, canvas, using handmade brushes and vegetable dyes. Now this specific painting is special because it depicts a tree, tree full of leaves and flowers. This signifies fruitfulness, abundance and fertility, something beautiful to wish for any family. So this painting is beautiful. I want to keep it in my home. This is a beautiful decor piece. But, if we, but what I don't like about this thing is the frame. It's drab, boring, sad, plain black frame. I don't like this rigid black frame. The second thing I don't like like his this black matting that has been used to frame the picture it's too much black it's too much dark and sad so i'm going to change the matting from rigid black to a different color maybe white or some other lighter color and i'm going to spruce up this frame so the first step will be to open up everything here and take the painting and the glass and the frame and the packing carefully out. Now from my stash I found this rather very light or rather pale green paper I'm going to use this to replace this black uh, paper black outside rim because uh, this kind of green this dull soft green is going to stand out very well against the color of my walls so I'm going to mark it to the same size and cut it neatly out Now I've placed this paper over it and I want the window so I'm just pressing it with my hand so that the crease is formed where I need to cut it. Now 
Now you see there is an indentation which shows uh, the region where the window is. Now with very sharp blade I'm going to cut it. Not scissors, I'm going to use a blade to cut it. Perfect. I'm going to lightly tape it on the sides so that it doesn't show through the frame and fix it onto my frame. I think I don't need to tape it if it can stay in place on its own. Let's check. Perfect, already happy. Next, as it was in the original, I'm going to add some clear tape around the edges and seal it so that no moisture can go in and the painting is protected as well as the framing is protected. Now to give this frame a little more TLC, I'm going to mark the center point about rather a center half one inch approximately. I'm going to mark them on both the top and the bottom ends. Now for this step, I have marked the center one inch and I'm just placing a paper so that I don't accidentally put paint on the glass. And next I took some acrylic gold paint and a brush and I'm going to paint this section in gold. I shall wait for the first coat to dry and then go on to do a second coat. This is just awesome, purely gorgeous. I'm just in awe how very few steps transform this picture into something beautiful and classic. I'm really pleased with the result. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next DIY in my next video. Until then, be positive, be creative and be happy.